Okay, the purpose of this video is to go over a couple examples of what I call U substitutions with extra X. They're probably more um, appropriately called um, change of variables. Um, but to me, extra X is descriptive because I, I choose my U. And in this case, uh, U is going to be 2X plus 1. My ultimate goal here is to end up with U to the negative fourth DU because I see my 4 on the bottom, so it's negative, And I can... I can integrate u to the negative fourth. So if, if u is 2x plus 1, du is 2, and I have a 2, um, but I also have this extra x. So that's why I call them extra x. If this is the case, what we need to do is figure out what x equals in terms of u. So um, if u is 2x plus 1, then 2x would equal u minus 1. And that implies that x equals a half of u minus 1. You could write it as u minus 1 over 2, but then when you substitute, you create fraction within fraction, which is not the um, ideal way to look at it. So let's substitute out. Um, on the bottom, I've got u to the fourth. So let me just call that u to the negative fourth. And then du is 2dx, so 2 and dx those are going to make up du. And then my extra x, actually let me get rid of that for now, my extra x um, is equal to 1 half of u minus 1. So inside here I'm going to have um, a half of u minus 1 and then my du. All right, so everything came out and um, changed into its u alternative. Now this half, we can just take out front of the entire integral. And on the inside, u to the negative 4 applies to both of these. It distributes to the parentheses. u to the negative 4 times u to the 1 is u to the negative 3. And u to the negative 4 times negative 1 is negative u to the negative 4. OK, so that's usually, there's usually going to be some distribution involved when you um, do this type of integral. Now let's integrate. u to the negative 3 becomes u to the negative 2 over negative 2. Add 1 to the negative 3. And u to the negative 4, it's minus. It becomes u to the negative 3 over negative 3. And uh, I'm going to rewrite that as, um, let's see, this first term is going to be negative. I'm going to distribute the 1 half. I'm going to get negative 1 fourth, negative 1 over 4u squared. So that's a combination of the 1 half and the negative 2 on the bottom for a total of negative 1 fourth. And then I'm also going to move this u to the negative 2 down and make it u to the positive 2 on the bottom. Then my next term is going to be positive, and it's going to be 1 sixth because of the 2 and the 3, both in the denominator. And uh, I'm going to make that 6u cubed on the bottom. So this is what I get when I integrate, but I'm still in the land of u's, and I need to get back to x's. So just simply put u back in place. Negative 1 over 4 times whatever u was, which was 2x plus 1 quantity squared, plus 1 over 6 2x plus 1 quantity cubed and plus C. So there's the first one. And let's do one more. OK, so this is similar. We've got um, something to the 1 third. Remember that this is 3x minus 2 to the 1 third. So I'm hoping to get to u to the 1 third as long as du is in here. So I'm going to say that my u is what's under the um, radical, 3x minus 2. That means du is 3. And I have a 5, which I'm going to need to make into a 3 through multiplication. But while I'm doing these, let's say, uh, let's figure out what x is. And x is going to be a third of u plus 2. Because I'm going to add 2 to both sides and then multiply by a third. Now let's fix this constant problem. I need 3dx, because du is 3dx. I have right now 5dx. So if you want to change a 5 into a 3, you need to multiply it by 3 fifths. 
And I prefer to just squeeze that in there, um, a three-fifths on the inside and a uh, five-thirds on the outside. Now, this and this all together make 3dx, so that's going to become my du. So I have five-thirds integral of, oh, excuse me, that I didn't mean to circle the x with that three-fifths times five. It's just five. Um, so my x is a third of u plus 2, and my um, cube root is going to become u to the one-third. All right, because this is u. It's raised to the one-third power. This part became all of this, and everything else was du. So as before, we're going to... Um, have a constant, we're going to distribute. Let me take out the one third and get five ninths on the outside. And then I'm going to distribute u to the one third. That gives me u to the four thirds because one plus one third is four thirds, plus two u to the one third du. So now it's ready to integrate. Whenever you do u substitution, you need to end up with a simple formula that you are able to integrate. So, let's see, let's do that here. Um, five ninths on the outside. And the antiderivative of u to the four thirds is u to the seven thirds over seven thirds. You could go ahead and make that three sevenths as a coefficient if you want to. Um, two u to the four thirds over four thirds. And let's see, I'm going to put the 5 ninths back in. Let's see, I'm going to do uh, 5 ninths times 3 sevenths u to the 7 thirds plus 5 ninths times 3 fourths times 2 u to the 4 thirds. Just kind of collecting coefficients here. I'm going to move the, move the fractions up and flip them over. I'm going to incorporate the 5 ninths, and this second term also had a 2 with it. I'm just uh, multiplying here. So let's simplify here. That can become a 3. And my first term is 5 over 21 u to the 7 thirds. In my second term, let's see, I can do the same thing, cross that out. Um, I've got times 2, so I can get rid of that, and that leaves me with... 5 over 6, u to the 4 thirds. And as usual, we're going to substitute x is back in, 3x minus 2 to the 7 thirds plus 5 sixths, 3x minus 2 to the 4 thirds. All right, so there's another extra x example. They all work pretty closely. Um, so. Um, the more practice, the better. You're not going to get many surprises if you get um, a lot of practice in on these.